So why don't you start with your name and where you're from? Uh, my name is Octavio, and I was born and raised here in Tri-Cities. Thank you for agreeing to share your story with us. Why don't you start um, telling us what happened before your need for deliverance? Okay. Um, so I grew up Catholic, and I did, we didn't really ever go to church, but... Uh, Growing up Latino, I was very aware of the spiritual world and spiritual warfare. So I knew how to identify when there was a spiritual attack. Um, and growing up, I could always see things and feel things. And I would have sleep paralysis and see, you know, spirits and whatnot. So I knew what was going on. When I was 17, I had a friend that cast some demon onto me. And... Within the month, I was like having really suicidal thoughts. I was always afraid, always looking over my shoulder. I, always, I felt this presence, and I was just scared. And it got to a point where I couldn't sleep through the night. Every night, I would wake up, and I'd wake up with scratches on my back, like really deep scratches. Um, I would get messed with at night, like pulled and sleep paralysis. And it got to a point where I was taking NyQuil every night just to sleep through the night. Um, maybe within the month from there, I had two heart attacks, and um, after my dad, after like maybe a few days after, he was like, I think something, someone sent something to you. I think there's a demon on you. So at the time, we didn't know there was any churches doing any kind of deliverance in the States. So he's like, going to Mexico. So he sent me to Mexico, and uh, a lot of crazy, unexplainable, scientifically unexplainable things happened. Um, but during the deliverance, I didn't manifest, but when it came out, I could see the shadow and it was running like all over the house and picking up pets that were there. It picked up a bird and started shaking it, like trying to kill just whatever was there. Eventually it left and I've been fine ever since. No more thoughts, no sleep paralysis, nothing since. Wow, praise God for that. You mentioned also that you had two heart attacks. I can imagine that with some, with the heart attacks came a level of uh, health problems. Is that true? And if so, uh, could you share anything about that for the audience? Yeah, I, I never really addressed any of the issues. I was told to go back to the hospital, but I didn't want to go back and get put on all kinds of medication and then just one after the other and just downhill from there. So I, I never went back. I just changed my diet, thought I was eating healthy. I was going to the gym a lot. I was in good shape. Um, and I thought that was enough. And within a year, my hair started to fall out and it started slowly and then it progressively just got faster and faster. And I got to a point where every time I'd run my hands through my hair, I'd have clumps falling out. And I knew it wasn't normal. And I, so I started seeking help and I went to all kinds of doctors, dermatologists. I did punch biopsies. I did everything under the sun, topical. Nothing worked, nothing slowed it down, nothing stopped it. Got to a point where my hairline was super far back. I was almost slick up top. And... I just, I gave up after a year of trying to fix it. And then um, about two years ago, I had my chest pains came back just out of nowhere from one day to the next. It got super bad. I was, there was a lot of pressure. It got to a point where I was like waking up in the middle of the night, like feeling claustrophobic. Um, so I was like, I probably won't survive a third heart attack. So I started to look for help. And a friend of mine had just moved to LA and she happened to run into this holistic doctor. And I was like, look at God, you know, make me an appointment. So we went. And I had a hat on, and at the time I wouldn't go anywhere without a hat because I was almost slick up top. I was super embarrassed about it. But um, when I showed up, she was, ran some tests, and she's like, are you having any hair loss? And I was like, yeah. She goes, are you having any chest pains? I said, yes. She goes, you're about to have a heart attack. And then I told her about my previous too, and she was like, if you don't listen to me, you'll be dead within the month. So she put me on a plant-based whole food diet. I couldn't even do any avocados, no nuts. They were too high in fat and no seed oils. And within, oh, and a liter of carrot juice a day. And within a month, my chest pains went away. Two months, my hair stopped falling out. Six months, it started growing back in and moving back down. And uh, eight months, I opened up a juice bar in Kennewick. Amen. Wow. God not only can help or like, God not only uses the doctors and the medicine and the spiritual aspect, but also when... He, when we put our part into our health, God can use that too to restore our bodies. So it's incredible that that happened. How did you find Hungry Jen and what's happened in your life since? 
Yeah, so two months after opening up the shop, some people came through and they were like, oh, we just drove six hours. We're going to Hungry Gen. There's this conference going on and uh, they do a lot of work in deliverance. And I was like, here in Tri-Cities? And they're like, yeah, we're here in Tri-Cities. So I pulled up a video and I was like, no way. It's been under my nose this whole time. I went all the way to Mexico. I could have driven 10 minutes to get delivered. So I came that same night and sure enough, if people were up here getting delivered, I was standing right there interceding the whole time and I was just like, wow, just a breath of fresh air, you know? Now my um, mom's been coming. She was, she's been an alcoholic my whole life. We've had a very rocky relationship ever since being delivered. She's been sober almost a year now. Amen, wow. What an incredible story. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us.